You stick your landing leg in, you stick your landing leg out, you stick your landing leg in, shake the engines all about. You fly a bird to space and then you turn it all around. That's what it's all about. What up, tubers? The Imaginative Astro Bunny here, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. So in today's video, I am going to be building and launching the Falcon 9. So without further ado, let's go into the vehicle assembly building and build this bird. Well, I say I'm gonna build the bird, but I actually think, first off, I'm going to build a testing tank. Testing tank with one of the engines which I want to use. Let's see, where is it? Vector liquid fuel engine. This makes thrust 936 kilonewtons. And will that be the thrust I actually get? I just want to be sure because I think I'm going to be needing to convert newtons into pounds in order to get the get an accurate I'm going to be needing to convert newtons into pounds so that my rocket recreation can have an accurate thrust and that looks weird and I don't really care so let's see. I'm not gonna save this rocket I am just going to see how it oh thank you for reminding me <laughs> Yeah, that would've been bad if I, uh, yeah. Let's see, can I just stick something on the side? No. Let's see, I think there's an attachment note that I can include on the vehicle, right? Yeah. And because this is Kerbal Space Program, and if you notice the staging that I had given this rocket you can kind of assume what I'm going to do once the test is complete and successful don't ya <laughs> there we go yeah, you can presume what I'm going to be doing <laughs> yeah uh, let's test this engine so if I'm correct the the thrust of this engine is going to be over 900,000 newtons. Now in order to accurately recreate the Falcon 9 and Kerbal Space Program, I'm going to need 9 engines, each producing a thrust of, if I'm converting correctly, about 80... no, 8... <sighs> I can't speak. Each engine needs a thrust of 860,000 newtons approximately I'm not sure but uh let's see so this is gonna be my engine testing so uh, let's see vector engine right I use a vector engine instead of a Merlin engine because we don't have Merlin engine in the Kerbal Space Program why not anyway go for testing in T minus five four three two one zero ignition engine the full thrust let's see 937.4 kilonewtons i'll be right back oh wait i'm converting newtons to pounds in google right now you probably can't see it but i'm seeing that newtons have 937,400 newtons converts to nearly 211,000 pounds what am i going to need for 190,000 pounds uh 845 two so Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, I didn't mean to do that so early. Uh oh, I'm dead. Well, I can try this launch again. Uh, be right back. Alright, test number two in three, two, one, zero, ignition. Alright. Eight forty 
There's a way for me to get 90%. 90.5%, that should do. That's gonna do. Now I'll go ahead and dump this. Oh! <gasps> I need that launch pad! Miraculously, after that crash, I think my core is still surviving. So, I'm gonna recover that vessel. So, uh, anyway, now I know what percentage of thrust I'm going to be needing. Let's see... Out of service. Yeah, I deserve that. Anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and finally start building the Falcon 9. First off, this rocket needs an upper stage. I'm gonna call this the Falcon 9. I love the Falcon 9. It's one of my favorite rockets. I mean, how cool is it that it is able to launch itself, re-enter the Earth, and be reusable multiple times? I mean, isn't that cool? So let's see, I got that. Actually, I think I'm going to ditch that. Alright, here we go. These three tanks will make up my upper stage, if I'm doing the stuff correctly. So yeah, that's my upper stage. I'm going to be needing an engine of 210,000 pounds of thrust. How much does this give out? 936. That is my Merlin vacuum engine, and I think its size is accurate. I don't know if this will launch the vehicle off right now, but uh, you know what? I need to do a static test. Actually, I'm gonna need another set of clamps. All right. What thus am I going for? 936.5. So, this is my upper stage, and I need a core. Ah, uh, let's see. I just need this core for the time being, and I. You know, maybe as long as I'm at it, I can see if the rocket will launch as it is. <laughs> But, uh, let's see, 9.30, are you kidding me? I forgot what, uh, what thrusts I need. Uh, I am a dumb bunny. So, uh, let's see, what thrusts again? 9.36.5, I had it. Yeah, almost it. 9.36.5, 9.36.5, 9.36.5. So, we're elevated here. Let's see, mainsail liquid engine. This engine's power rivals that of entire small nations. We're gonna find out if that's the case. In four, three, two, one, ignition. Oh, look at it. 936, five, nine, thirty six, five. I'll go for 939.4. So, what is that? 68% thrust. So, that's a major decrease for it. Well, can I launch? Uh, not with this thrust. Not with this thrust. I'm dead. I'm dead. Once again, I destroy the launch pad. That's the second time this video. Am I a horrible rocket engineer or what? I don't know. And I think that counts as a catastrophic failure. Yeah, that counts as a catastrophic 
failure, but not. Anyway, so that has been taken care of. I'm going to go back to vehicle assembly and build the rest of the bird. Alright, get rid of these clamps. I almost forgot what they were for a moment. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. I'm gonna stick with the separator. Let's see. Pod with a charge of 30. Let's see. Oh yeah, I still need to. Uh, I still need to fix that, don't I? Up close. Right? It's close fairing. Let's see, clamshell fairing. Yeah, there we go. Yep, that's right. Let's see, we said 68%. So, 68% thrust. You know, what the heck, I'm gonna be generous and give it 70% thrust. That's more than accurate, but I know for a fact that this rock is gonna have much more delta V than is going to be needed, especially for this test mission. So let's see if I zoom out. What do we have? We've got a majestic rocket. Uh, let's see. I think another component. Let's see another fuel tank. Yeah, how's that? Yeah, so far I've got a good looking um pencil. Yeah, looks like a pencil. That's the engines. Engines, engines. Vector engines. I'm gonna need one in the center. Thrust limiter set down to Ha! 90%! Yes, I can get it in the editor. And I'm not being pressured by time. So let's see. Uh, eight engine. Let's cut do that. No. Just stick them um, here. Set it down to 90%, no, there should be a thrust limiter of 90%. Okay, so here's my rocket. Let's see, all nine engines need, all nine Merlin engines need to ignite at the same time, or else this isn't gonna work. So, so far, my rocket's looking good. Uh, go back to here. Let's see. I know for a fact that I'm gonna need a battery. In fact, if I move that down, let's see what's the 4K. All right, got the 4K. Actually, yeah. All right. So now I need to re-edit the fairing. that close the fairing? Yes, clamshell deploys on. And I think I I think I have more than enough electric charge needed to drive this rocket. Did I just say drive? What is this a car? So let's see. I'm gonna put X thrusters here. I'm gonna be a little generous with the thrusters. I don't know how much rotation is going to be needed, but isn't it better to be safe than sorry? So let's see, I'm just going to check my staging. Okay, engines ignite. Lamp shell deploys. The stage deploys, engines ignite. So the rocket looks good so far. Next important thing we need what I can resemble, what I can do to resemble grid fins. Say, so will that do? Let's see, deploy. Oh, oh 
yes. These elevines are sure to work. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I've got myself grid fence. I've got myself grid fence. So, or I can best do to resemble grid fence. Now I need landing legs. And with my copy of Kerbal Space Program, things are a bit glitchy, so I can't really use landing gear. It's not gonna work. So I need to create my own landing lights with my own static landing lights, which actually have a tri-symmetry. Actually, I think I can use the longer girders. Yep, that will that'll do. And that is longer than is needed. So do that. Let's see, I'm gonna give it some struts because otherwise this might not be structural enough. So do that. And a couple extra struts. Don't want to take any chances, and that should do. I think yeah, that should do for landing legs. Aerodynamically speaking, this is probably not going to be a happy one. But uh, if I scroll up here, now it's time to build a nose cone for the rocket. So. See, I think I bring this rocket down to the ground, right? But wait a second. Is it already at the ground? Furthermore, it's doing all the way over there. What's what's going on? Bring it back to the center. And let me attend to it. That's not the center, but uh. Let's see. Should I launch a Sputnik into space? This is the source. This is the source. Alright, so let's see. This is a two sided clamshell fairing. And let's see. For this. And I think in this case I'm going to launch a cur Should I launch a Kerbal in this space? Is that a good idea? Wait, maybe I could make a Tesla and strap it in. Yeah, be like Elon Musk, am I right? Well, maybe I could do something similar, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, I don't know about a Tesla per se. But I'm thinking about just dropping a small Kerbal ship in. No, 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 no. Wait, should I? I know. I know what to do. Let me see where science. Science Junior. Here. That way nothing else I can test this rocket in the name of science add the solar wings and I think 
I think the rocket is more or less ready to launch. Let's see. Okay, engines will ignite. What's that? Oh. This goes up here, doesn't it? Check your staging. I know what to do. This is what I want to do. Maybe I can make the science module renewable. Yeah. Whatever says I can't bring it back home, right? There's no rule that says I can't. So, that, and then where's the drag shift? Right. Oh, come on, I want to put the, the drag shoot in. Oh, that's too big, that's too big. Alright, well, let's see, where's that nose cone? Put that nose cone back. Turn this 90 degree. Okay. And where's the. Okay, drogue shoot. Man, those are tiny. Alright, we need clamps. Because. Because that's what the Falcon 9 has. It has a set of clamps, so I do that. And then I'll try recreating the strong back, more or less. If you've seen those Falcon 9 launches, you should be aware that there's that strong back on most of the launches. That's what they have at the launch pad. And I think. Okay. If I zoom in here. Oh, that fairing is hideous. I'm gonna have to change that. So, I think. It's a solid structure. Let's see, I just need to check my staging and then it's time to test this vehicle. So, engines ignite first. Next, all the clamps release. And actually, if I want to be accurate, the strong back clamps release during the ignition sequence. So, so yeah, the strong back reclines during the ignition sequence. So, so first ignition sequence, strong back releases, clamps release, go up in this space. I think there's enough delta V to get in this space. In fact, I think there's enough delta V to make this Falcon 9, according to Kerbin standards, an SSTO. So. Next, we have to stage. Let me get rid of that. All right, that, that, and that. All right, so that bit of the staging is correct. Next, the bearing deploys. Then we have second engine cutoff. We have stage separation. That. that. Oh man, so many stages. Dog darn it. That does the drug shoots. Right, these are the drug shoots, those are the drug shoots. This is correct. Alright, 
And that means Falcon 9 is ready for launch, I think. Oh wait, almost. One last thing. How am I supposed to steer the upper stage in the in the vacuum? Alright, there we go. What does this have? Okay, that has torque. And Falcon 9 is ready for launch. So does the Werner have anything to say about the rocket? Command module facing the wrong the wrong way. Which command module? Uh, let's see. Oh, this one. This is the command module that is facing the wrong way. Okay. I'll have to keep that in mind. Engine jettison before use. Which one? Uh, jettison before you for use. Oh no. This is the correct way. It will get be good. What took charge generated but not use? The vessel is lacking parts that need the solar panels. There will be overflow. I think the rocket is fine. It is ready for launch. Lunch. I gotta lay off the German accent, don't I? Yeah, let's go for launch. Alright, I have no idea how long this test is going to take to succeed successfully. But I'm gonna trust that I have done the staging correctly. Let's see. Map is a go. Let's see. And I think Falcon 9 is ready for launch, so... And I think it's finished up startup, so we are going to go in T-10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, the engines are on. catastrophic failure and that needs to go back to the drawing board right away all right fatal flaw it's not structurally sound all right I'm gonna need a lot of struts <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna take much care. I'm going to spam the struts on this candle. Because if I don't, there are going to be deadly consequences. Which you have witnessed firsthand. That's right, you are a witness against me. And I want. There we go. Okay. Like I said, you are a witness against me. This will not happen again. Oh, 
Man, talk about a launch failure. Actually, I think that's the top of the rocket. That's the top of the rocket. Uh, is that enough struts? I seriously don't know. But I'm just gonna launch and see if that solves the problem. <gasps> what happened to my struts? They're not gonna work, are they? Only one way to find out. I'm not gonna do a countdown, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> I forgot. Oh my, that was on. I think I forgot the RCS thrusters. I forgot to turn them on. I am a dumb bunny. Go on, give me resources. Give me resources. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. No. I I destroyed the spacecraft. And this is why I chose not to man the mission. This is why I chose not to man the mission. In fear that this would happen. And this has been a catastrophic failure. And I don't think there's any operable objects right now yeah these are the only remaining pieces well i think i'm going to call it for today's video so i hope you guys enjoyed so reflecting upon today i uh, tested the engines and checked to see if if the engines I was planning on using would provide sufficient thrust for the replica of the rocket. Well, it seems that they do provide sufficient thrust, but the rocket has instability issues. I'm going to have to reflect on the videos. I'm going to have to review the videos to see what exactly went wrong before I continue developing the rocket. So I'm thinking in the next KSP video, I'm going to continue improving the Falcon 9 and hopefully launching it finally. This concludes today's video, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. India Alpha Bravo checking out.
Proving Murphy's Law. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. You don't see it, but I'm putting a thumbs up.